Hey there, Bookkeeping Side Hustle community. This is a quick video to teach you how to change the email address that is associated with your QuickBooks Online Accountant account. Lots of us start with our personal emails as we're starting to study QuickBooks or something like that, and then we might end up getting a business name and a domain, so we have a more professional email, and you're going to know eventually going to want to change that. So this video is to teach us how to do that. It's a little more complicated than you might think. But have no fear. We're going to get it fixed. Keep listening and follow these steps. All right, so I'm in my QuickBooks Online Accountant account. And up here in the right, we're going to hit this little button. What you're looking for is something called Manage Your Intuit Account. Um, I was given a little... Um, tutorial sheet how to do this and I asked if I can make a video about it and this document that was created not even that long ago this this link was in a different spot so you're going to have to hunt for it it might be here in the cog uh, or in the gear icon um, but for now it's here we're going to go to manager intuit account you'll see that this opened a new tab we're going to click over here at sign in and security one thing we're going to do is change our user ID to something shorter than a long email address. This isn't necessary, but it'll save you some typing. So I put in a verification code, and my user ID is updated. Next, we're going to go down here to change our email address. And this is where you'll put your email address that you want um, to be associated with your QuickBooks Online accountant account. I found that um, I got into some co confusion with some clients because my personal Gmail is what they needed to be inviting me with, and I've you know completely transitioned to my professional email address, so they would send me an invitation and I would never get it and have to say, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, here, use this random Gmail address that you know had my maiden name in it. All right, I'll verify my email. After you verify your email, you'll be back here to this little box. Click Continue. Now we're back over here at this icon. We're going to go to the gear. And now we have to go to your team. From your team, you're going to want to make sure that this says you're the primary admin. It also might say master admin. You're going to want to edit this now. You'll see I have my old email address here, so I'm going to update this. And now we're going to save and close it, and it's showing up correctly. Next, we're going to go back to the gear icon. You're going to go to Company Settings. You want to change the email address down here. So we changed it here where it says Company Email, and you're also going to want to make sure it's here in the Client Email. Then scroll down you got to click Save here, and then click Done. Still not done. Go back to the gear icon. In your company settings, I have Payments. Click Manage Account. Come here to Account Profile. Come here to Account Profile. Scroll down till you get to Contact Information. Edit and change the contact email. I'm picking Fixed and Correct Information. Yes, I'll get a confirmation code. Last thing I'm going to do is just come over to my email and show you all that I got quite a few emails from Intuit as we were changing all these. So um, feel free to go back and forth kind of between your email. And um, as you ch make each change, you're probably going to get a notification. And that just might provide you with some clarity on what exactly is happening on the backside. I'm back here to record one more little thing. I remembered that we probably need to change our email addresses in our Melio account. So if you use Melio um, in conjunction with QuickBooks Online, you probably want those email addresses to match. Um, so if you go to Melio, your Melio account, go to the purple Melio, not the green QBO Mel Melio, but purple Melio, and come to Settings. And then in Profile Information, once you click Edit, you realize that you can only change your name and like your title. You can't actually change this. So what you have to do 
is actually message Melio support and tell them what you want to do, that you want your profile email changed. And um, I got a response in less than 24 hours. So that's how, that was the only way to change your um, bill pay info inside of Melio. So it's a little bit of a workaround, but make sure you do that too. I haven't actually tested, I never tested it to see whether if the emails didn't match your QBO logon and your Melio logon, if they didn't match, if that was going to be a problem, but I just kind of assumed that it is. All right. I want to shout out to my friend, Joanna Linares. She is a top-notch bookkeeper at enumerista.com. And she is the one that outlined these steps. She created a PDF and shared it in the bookkeeping side also group. It's in the file section there. Um, and if you need help, um, she obviously knows QuickBooks inside and out. I would not have been able to record this video without her outlining these steps because she just is that familiar with all of QuickBooks Online. So I really recommend her, especially if you need, um, you know, just a little bit of assistance, like maybe you have a new client and you're in trouble, book an hour with her and you will be well on your way. Comment below if you had had troubles with this before, if you had started your QuickBooks Online a journey with a different email from what you had now and had to navigate this we tangled web of getting that log on email changed. If you think videos like this are helpful, please hit that subscribe button and then hit that notification bu bell as well so you keep getting notified whenever I put out stuff like this. And it, sh and it sure does help keep the lights on here at the Bookkeeping Side Hustle community. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit that bell to get notifications as well. And keep hustling.